filter here. Uh, I wish I could uh, make a video under different circumstances, but it's come to my attention that uh, John Ramita Sr. has passed away. Uh, his art has influenced not just myself and what I do, but it's influenced so many others. Razor Fist does a very good tribute, but I have to say, to lose another legend, I mean, we already lost George Perez, well, John Romita Sr. influenced me a lot because I read Spider-Man like there was no tomorrow. I mean, I, I read Spider-Man, you know? <laughs> when I was a kid, my mother got me something. Um, I'll show it in a few minutes, but I used to have a ton of um, Spider-Man comics drawn by John Romita Sr. And unfortunately, they're lost to antiquity. I mean, we could get reprints or you could find some of his stuff here and there. But still, to actually have those issues, well, no. But luckily, my mom got me this years ago. It's not the original one that I had, but my girlfriend, I told my girl, because I lost mine in a fire back in the 80s, and and I told my girlfriend I used to have it. I thought the, this, this was out of print, but it turns out it is in print. And the art is done by John Ramita Sr. Just look at that. Just look at that. <laughs> and this. Beautiful all the way around. It, if you ever come across it, get it. But um, let me show you. You, um, with the album, you play the album and you go through the panels. Look how beautiful these pages are. <sighs> Again, another legend is gone. His son carries on the legacy in name, plus with his own style. But like Kirby, like Perez, and like numerous others, Mobius, there's never going to be another John Ramita Sr. There never will. Razor Fist said it best. Godspeed, Mr. Ramita. Godspeed.